Hi everyone, Jai Matadi. <clears throat> In this video, I am going to talk about difference between purifier and clarifier. I hope you guys remember I told you that difference starts in basics agar main dekhu if i have got untreated oil it will have treated oil it will have water and it will have carbon or sludge right guys say treated oil is dens uh, density is rho 3 water is density rho 2 and carbon sludge is density rho 1 then this will always have a higher density than water and water will have is always have higher density than treated oil treated oil means clean oil so we had a dirty oil which had a mixture of water clean oil and soot sludge everything Copied guys, so this is something over here. Now, what I have done over here is I have drawn drawn a layout of a purifier. So guys, are your promotion slow? Not getting the respect that you deserve on board ship. If you are a marine engineer who is looking for faster promotions and earning respect on ship, then don't worry. Merchant Navy Decoded has your back. Introducing excellence packages for every rank now. You want to learn about purifiers, compressors, electronics, automation, MEG engines, RT flex, ME engines. Don't worry, we are there. Learn any time online, offline, whether you are on land or on board ship. Engineers who invest on upgrading themselves, they lead. What are you waiting for? Go to the description box, and you will find different ranks, different excellence packages. Start investing now. Jai Mata Di. This is the untreated oil. It is coming in over here. This is the spindle on which this bowl, this complete bowl is rotated. So basically, centrifugal force, whatever oil is coming in, a centrifugal force will act on it. Now, guys, the moment centrifugal force acts on it, we know centrifugal force is m r omega square. R will be same, omega will be same because same RPM, mass, and mass is density into volume. So, guys. Volume say of same correct same uh, volume density will play the play the deciding factor. So now density of a carbon or a sludge particle is going to be higher than a same size same volume water molecule and it will be greater than same volume treated oil. So what happens is, जो भी एक treated sludge रहेगा वो sludge रहेगा carbon all these things they will be the first one heavier components they will be the first one to come and block this area. because as soon as it acts they will be from going outwards and then sliding upwards 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 and they will come over here and now since guys these are not in a huge quantity so definitely ye area ko wo log block kar dega over here this area will be taken by sludge heavy sludge soot carbon deposits right then second centrifugal force is going to act the uh, uh, others the second largest centrifugal force is going to act on the water molecules so when oil and water come over here the water molecules are going to be the second force to come and take this region done right guys now after that you will see so water will be coming over here now and then there will be see i'll take it over here up till over here this is water I'll tell you the reason why I'm saying so. And ये जो अंदर वाला region है ये पूरा का पूरा will be taken by this will be taken by ये हो गया oil oil. So what will happen is guys, you can see sludge will be all the time over here. ये जो water है धीरे धीरे more when the oil is coming, water will start coming more. And then this, this water will try to find a way outside from over here, and it will go out separated water out here. This oil which is going in, ये यहां से धीरे धीरे अंदर जा रहा है This will find a separate way and going go out from over here. See once again, guys. Sludge will remain over here. Water will be on the outer side. और ये रास्ता जो है this is for the water. Water and water ये green वाले में separated water outlet जा रहा है Can you see this area? And oil अंदर से this is going from inside over here. This is The treated oil outlet. Can you see once again? Tuck, 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 tuck. Treated oil outlet. So now, guys, what is happening is this untreated oil is being separated in treated oil outlet, separated water outlet, and sludge is accumulated over here. Now, this sludge will be separated. So what we do is, when the purifier is running at a higher RPM, very high RPM, during that time 
वी डू समथिंग दिस इज अ स्लाइडिंग बाउल ये जो बाउल है इसके बीच में देखो यहां पर ये ओरिंग सील रिंग लगी हुई है मेन सील रिंग सो दिस बाउल इज फिक्स बाउल हुड इज फिक्स ये फिक्स रहता है ओके बट दिस स्लाइडिंग बाउल कैन यू सी दिस स्लाइडिंग बाउल दिस मूव टिक टिक अप एंड डाउन सो वी ओपन दिस इन वेल द प्रिफेयर इज रनिंग सडनली दिस बाउल ओपन टक वाई दैट इज अ कंप्लीट डिफरेंट मैकेनिज्म दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस बट दिस ओपन जैसे ही ओपन होता है तो ये जितना भी ये, ये स्लज वाला मटेरियल है यहां पर दिस स्लज इट इज डी स्लज कैन यू सी डी स्लज एंड ये सारा का सारा बाहर चला जाता है इन टू द स्लज टैंक एंड देन आफ्टर सम टाइम दिस बाउल क्लोजेस अगेन एंड देन अगेन द प्यूरिफिकेशन स्टार्ट सो गाइज आई होप यू गॉट इट दैट इज हाउ अ प्यूरिफायर वर्क सो प्यूरिफायर में अनट्रीटेड ऑयल आता है उसमें स्लज बाहर चला जाता है वाटर इधर आके एक लेयर बनाता है सो वाटर यहां से चला जाता है और ऑयल विल ऑलवेज गो इन साइड एंड इट विल गो फ्रॉम ओवर हेयर दिस इज दिस इज आर ट्रीटेड ऑयल आउटलेट नो गाइज दिस इज माई प्यूरिफायर सो प्यूरिफायर इज सेपरेटिंग थ्री थिंग्स वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ क्लैरिफायर यू हैव यू हर्ड द वर्ड से क्लैरिफाइड बटर सो बटर हम कैसे निकालते हैं वी सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम मिल्क राइट उसे हम रेगुलर चर्न करते रहते हैं सडनली मिल्क एंड बटर गेट सेपरेटेड सो गाइज ओवर हेयर ऑल्सो क्लैरिफायर डज द सेम थिंग क्लैरिफायर सेपरेट कार्बन रेजिड्यू फ्रॉम दिस दैट मीन्स क्लैरिफायर से आई विल सेपरेट ऑनली स्लज फ्रॉम ट्रीटेड ऑयल प्लस वॉटर ये वॉटर को सेपरेट नहीं करता देन दैट केस यू कैन एज्यूम दिस वॉटर आउटलेट इज शट यहां पर एक बॉल लगा दो और इसको बंद कर दो सो वॉट विल हैपन इज वॉटर विल नॉट गो आउट फ्रॉम ओवर हेयर so only oil is going from over and all the heavier particles sludge is deposited over here similarly along with that even water is also on the outer side but it will not be separated continuously because we have shut this valve over here so separated water outlet is shut only sludge and during when the desludge happens this sludging valve opens this whatever is over here accumulated say water plus sludge goes out in the form of sludge in the form of sludge so guys that means this is a clarifier Where only this bowl is opening, water outlet is shut, so only the sludge is going out. So only sludge is separated from the treated oil plus water over here, and that is called clarifier. So now, what is the difference between purifier and clarifier? In purifier, untreated oil is separated in treated oil, separated water and sludge. In clarifier, untreated oil is separated into treated oil outlet. This is shut, not anymore, and sludge. Copy it, guys. Now. Question is which one is which one is beneficial for what purpose? See, to be very honest, purifiers are always more advantageous than clarifiers. Why? Because you are separating water as well. But suppose you have got two purifiers and one clarifier, and you have to purify three systems. One is generator lube oil purification, main engine lube oil purification, and fuel oil purification. So where are you going to use purifiers and clarifiers? Suppose if there are three purifiers, no issues. i use everywhere but suppose you have to fit in one clarifier somewhere where will it be highly beneficial let us see that now guys see fuel oil purifier is very important in today's time why we have to separate water huge quantity of purification is taking place all the time we have to separate sludge and we have to separate treated oil so purifier is very important over here now coming between main engine and generator guys when i talk about generator lube oil seats of first of all less quantity say Thousand liters or something like that. Second thing is when the combustion is taking place directly, soot is entering into the sump tank, which is just below the combustion space. So it will always this generator sump will always have black soot in higher quantity. It both ganda tail hota hai, very. It has has higher soot content. So over here, water is the least issue. This soot is the biggest issue. So in case if I have to use clarifier, it can work great over here. because bahut kam quantity hai water is not that much of an issue so you can use a clarifier over here so that at least soot to separate over here this sludge is getting this soot is getting separated over here so we can use a clarifier over here and yes purifier over here why because in main engine lube oil purifier there are chances there have been instances where water has been added into the uh, lube oil through lube oil coolers or different systems right copy it so this is something that i wanted to tell you now next question comes is ki sir Suppose I have a purifier and I want to make it a clarifier. Can I do that? And if I have a clarifier, can I make it purifier? How? So now, guys, what happens is a simple thing is. Let me first of all uh, remove this, remove this, remove this. First of all, let's talk about purifier. See, guys, 
when the a purifier is running and we put untreated oil over here what will happen this oil will go as soon as this oil goes over here it will immediately enter over here and this it will start going from the water outlet into the slush tank into the slush tank right guys ye pura ka pura oil yahan se slush tank mein chala jayega there will be no purification rather you will be converting your untreated oil rather than purifying it it will be going into slush tank there have been instances where this has happened and that is called overflow when your oil starts overflowing from the water side it's called overflow overflow there have been instances jahan par water outlet se oil nikal raha tha why because oil aaya there was nothing to seal over here and it immediately went outside over here so what you have to do is guys always remember in case when you are running a purifier there is always very important that before the untreated oil comes in when your bowl is shut you have to send some sealing water some sealing water now what is the purpose of this sealing water guys you have to understand this is very very important concept that you have to understand just a second what is this sealing water now guys if you do not add this sealing water before this oil comes in this oil will come in and it will go from over here and all the oil will be going into the slush tank and overflow purifier will happen right so what happens is before sending the oil for purification when the purifier is running at a higher rpm and it is ready for purification first of all from this stage only from over here you send some water inside so what happens when this water goes first thing is even before the sludge comes in there is no sludge right now because there is no water already over here there is no water there is no oil which has come for separation first of all this water comes and it forms a layer over here and this is all filled with this area is filled with water this is called sealing now this water is done sealing over here ki bhaiya in case if oil starts coming uh, now oil has lighter density so in no chance oil can go over here right so what will happen is oil, the only passage that oil will find is to go over here now when it is running slowly slowly the oil will have soot that soot will have a higher centigrade it will start depositing over here right whatever water will come it will start adding to this water level and this water will start increasing over here and start going out from over here and oil will always find a place to go from over here so guys this is called sealing water and this sealing water is added so that oil when it starts coming in it straight away does not start coming overflowing from the top disc and go outside from the water outlet and that is why it is called sealing water and it is a very very important part now when i talk about clarifier if i want to make this purifier a clarifier what i'll do is first of all i will not add sealing water why in case of a clarifier if i add water guys first of all there is no point adding because this line is already shut there is no water outlet in case of a clarifier yahan par you can put a valve or you can add a clarifier disc over it's like a disc put which just shuts this outlet so there is no outlet going so what happens is when through, when clarifier is running straight away oil comes in and it start it is fixed up till there say it is mixed up till here this whole complete is fixed with oil this is oil this area is oil this area is oil this area is oil everything is filled with oil now slowly slowly with a higher rpm slowly slowly sludge starts depositing over here fine and oil is going from over here right and when after some certain time when you desludge it whatever is remaining over here this sludge along with little bit of water it goes out copy it guys so this is a clarifier in clarifier so when i talk about purifier and clarifier separates oil water sludge clarifier separates oil and sludge purifier sealing water required no sealing water required apart from that guys for in a clarifier you have got a clarifier disc that means water outlet shut water outlet shut because by putting a clarifier disc i'll explain the clarifier disc concept when i talk about gravity disc in some other video that will be a different video made later now guys this is something that you had to know about the difference between a purifier and a clarifier thank you very much jamal